Terry Bradshaw here in the UVM Orchard. Um, we're going to talk about how to hang apple maggot fly traps. This is a visual trap that the fly sees thinking that it's a ripening apple. The flies that are coming out right now are already mated and ready to lay eggs. And so we're trying, we're trying to capture the, the flies and we're using these traps to monitor the flies. So we want to know when there's a sufficient enough number of flies in the orchard to justify treating it. Because it's a visual trap and it's meant to look like a super apple in the tree, so it's bright red, it's shiny, um, and we're, there's a trick that I'll show you in a minute that we also do. Um, we need it to be very visual um, to, the, to the flies from a long ways away. We put these traps in the exterior of the orchard because the flies fly in from outside. They're very mobile, um, and when we treat, we're going to treat the whole block, so we'll, we'll take care of any flies, control any flies that are in the orchard, but we want to monitor the ones that are coming back in. So when we hang the trap, we want it to be about head height, and we actually clear off any shoots, and we'll sacrifice fruit if we need to, to make this thing very visual. So we'll, we'll hang it you know, right around here on the outside of the canopy of the tree. Um, bend this wire around, not so it'll girdle the tree, but enough that it hangs down. If you've got something else that's in the way, right, we'll, we'll trim some out. Let me take this shoot off. I'll even take a few shoots off here so you're getting a really good view coming in. Yeah. The Apollo Red's not the best tree to pick because of the drooping fruit, but it's, it's what's at the end, end of the orchard. So there's your trap, it's hanging. Um, if you use this trap, we hang about four traps per block and we'll average the catch. We'll come every week. Um, I'll show next week or whenever we start catching them, we'll do another video and I'll show you what they look like. But it looks like a fly, an actual fly with a W on the wings and a little white spot on the back on the thorax. Um, very distinctive fly, so it's very easy to see. Um, we'll come through and I'll usually take one of my shoots that I just trimmed off or something and shoot that's on the ground and as we as we go through we'll count them and I, I pick them off as I count them so that I get a fresh count each week. Um, we are looking for an average of one fly per trap as our indicator for treatment. So that tells us that there's a population that's getting into the into the block and we can justify treating it an average. So that would mean four on one trap out of out of four that would mean two two zero zero you know average out of four would be still one trap one fly or one on all your traps that's if you're just using a visual trap we also can sort of juice these a little bit by using a lure so this is a, a ferrocon apple essence there's some others that come with a little plastic vial um, that you hang if you do use the plastic vial you don't open the cap this smells like a ripening apple and this will will uh, the, the scent breathes out the side so you don't open anything you don't peel anything off of this and we just hang this they say roughly you know within a foot of the of the hanging trap so we might just hang this I'm just using a bread tie to hang it a short piece of wire can do it and we'll hang it over here and this really draws them in. Um, and it's so powerful, it brings them right into this one zone and brings more flies to the trap. So if you use a lure, you change your threshold. Your threshold is actually five flies per trap. So you can let them build up for a little while before you decide it's time to treat. It gives you a little bit more lead time. Um, you can tell if they're emerging. Um, you know, you're gonna be more likely to pull some in rather than have um, them solely going visual and show how to identify them. Thanks.